Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in your toy hunting missions. Let's debrief. So today we are going to take a look at He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Skeletor Terror Claws, specifically Skeletor, uh, deluxe action figure, new for 2022. Um, I manage, I collect in the package guys, specifically the Latin American, um, South America, Central America, Mexico, wherever I can source these from, uh, carded figures, uh, specifically these words under here are Portuguese. I Googled it. I'll talk about that here in a second. But a uh, guy on eBay had this. I picked this particular one up from a guy in Brazil. Um, when he sent it to me, and I'm pretty sure this didn't happen during shipping because it was kind of a bitch to turn, but the head was turned over here and the face was here. And that's, I mean, I'm being all honest. And I was a little pissed off. Um, called the guy out um, and told him I wasn't going to buy his shit anymore because I'm pretty sure it was on purpose. He swear it wasn't. But the box was in great condition. So if it turned and it was hit hard enough, the box would have been smashed in some way and it wasn't. So whatever. I don't care. I got what I wanted. But what's hilarious is this is the Latin carded one. I haven't got the one from the United States. I haven't seen these in the stores. They're on eBay, of course. But I'm not paying that much money for this. So, I, if I'm going to pay good money, I'm going to buy the stuff I'm going to leave on the card, and it'll be worth money in the future. Where the ones I'm going to pull out of the package, I'm not going to spend 40 to $60 fucking dollars on this that's $20 at Walmart. Because the price tag's on the shelf. I just haven't seen them fuckers come in yet. I've seen the Flying Fist He-Man, which I did a um, video when I got that. If you go back in my um, channel, you can see the Flying Fist He-Man. But, because there he is right there. But, so this is the Latin carded version, guys. And then when I get the American carded version, I'll pull it out again and we'll compare. But, like with the Latin ones, there's no, no description here. Um, but you get the point here. The one thing I don't like is there's no names of what these characters are here. And I think they'd be able to come up with something. But, whatever. But, really bitching ass artwork on the back. That's uh, half of et uh, Eternia like the play set kind of thing and then too bad we've seen previews that he's coming i haven't seen anything about him being in released in origins yet but i'm sure he's gonna come so he's a pretty cool character i didn't have this character when i was a kid um i didn't even know it existed till uh basically lately because when i first saw him I was looking at his little top here, which is kind of a pink color, and then it's shiny, and then, what do you call it? Yeah, it comes with an extra hand. There's the claws, which look really cool and massive. Um, and then you get this skull bone head thing that attaches in either one arm or clips in the back, like the instructions show. But, uh, so I ended up getting, I didn't get the claws. I just got the, the vintage, uh, version of this. So we can do a little comparison. This is a, I think this is 1985. Yep. 1985 version. So if you look at the, you can quickly see some of the different 
the top is a little bit more purpley and not quite as shiny as the original. Um, the new one is quite a much, much more shiny with the, um, I forget what they call it, with the, the process they do to put that, me uh, the, the shininess on the plastic. I'm sure somebody else will tell me in the comments. Um, but then you can see the difference in the face. The belt's a little brighter on the old one compared to the, the new one. You got a darker pair of boots than the old one or the new one. But this one's been around the block. Doesn't have the back thing anymore. But what I... And I don't know if I heard this from somewhere or if I just made this up. I don't fucking care. But... I, I kind of call him Stripper Skeletor because of the shiny top. And then when you're messing with him, like when you're doing his little thing, it's kind of, he could be, literally, he could be dancing like a stripper back and forth, back and forth. You know what I mean? So I call him Stripper Skeletor. I know there is the Disco Skeletor. So this is my version of Stripper Skeletor. So too bad I didn't have the little thing, but I'd show you that, yeah, if you get, get him going, I mean, he'd be dancing. You can actually, let's see if I can get this on camera. You could actually, with the old version, you could actually get him to, eh, I can't really get him to shake his booty, but if you try hard enough, I know I got him to do it before, but yeah, he's still a cool character, even though the top looks kind of stripper-esque, but so there's the vintage one with that one. So I want to show you guys this one. Uh, there, it's definitely in Latin America. The, the guy that I get some of my Latin carded stuff is in Panama. Um... What do you call it? I just got the Latin carded Stridor, so I'm going to be doing a video right after this. I'm actually do, piling on four videos in a night so I can distribute them and not do them one at a time because I got to do the setup thing and I work full time and drive two hours and blah, blah, blah. So this is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Esquelator. Oh, I almost forgot. Because I wanted to know. Curious minds wanted to know. I googled that group of words. And it means devilish claw in Portuguese. And let's see if I can say this right. Because I was listening to Google translation. But it was like gara diabolica. Gara diabolica. So if I totally mess that up. Let me know in the comments. I don't mean anything rude. Uh, I definitely don't know Portuguese, but I wanted to look at that, look that up because on the English version, it says terror clause. So I was kind of wondering, okay, I knew that was Skeletor. Well, what was that? So devilish claw in Portuguese. I'm Jason. This is War Journal Toys. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.